with Heather and the blood and the skin found underneath her nails, it's all coming back as AB negative. But to answer your question, I'm B positive. My blood type. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamualaikum, guys. Welcome back to my channel. On my last episode, I've suspected that there is some manipulation on Colton's blood type. Well, it's just my opinion. The killer blood type is AB negative. At least that's what they found on Heather's fingernail. Okay, let's continue with another blood type video. My blood type? Oh, that's a bit personal. I suppose the likes of you would like to know these things, however. It's A positive, very common. I know, I'm, I'm quite the commoner. <laughs> so uh, you wouldn't mind us drawing some blood to confirm? Actually, I, I would mind. So you're refusing? No, I just can't be bothered. Um, really? It would only take two seconds. We could scratch you off the list of suspects. Oh, so I'm a suspect now. <laughs> Ah, the tooth finally comes out. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Mm. Under what pretense? The victims only seem to encounter a few people in town. Oh, don't make me laugh! <laughs> Look, Michael, if I were under arrest, you could poke me full of all the holes you've ever desired. However, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Duly noted, you do not consent. Mmm, shame when things are a bit more difficult, isn't it? Another keyword, newspaper. We've notified the school of the deaths, yes. They said it was that they were extremely sad to hear the news, and no doubt the student body will be too. I expect memorials, candlelight vigils, news spreads, the whole works. It's already all over the network stations. Jeez. Yeah, the three ring circus is definitely starting. Let's try Bumper Sticker. Wow, a lot of videos. Anything else happen at the garage while they were there? No. Nothing? You sure? Looking at the CCTV footage, your story seems to check out. There was just one little thing we were curious about. This moment. What am I supposed to be looking at here? Yeah. In the picture, it looks like a random moment from when Heather and her group of friends were there. They are there. There's you. The car, the garage, etc. The thing is, here's the next moment. And the next. And the next. And the next. Notice anything weird about them? No. These photos are stills from video taken over the course of 45 seconds. Everything is moving apart from one thing in the video. You. There you are, standing like a statue staring at the car full of Greg, Alana, Heather, and their friends. Why is that? What were you looking at, Caleb? Were you trying to remember if you'd left the stove on in the morning, sorting through the brain fog, playing statue, just trying to find your brain in there? Or maybe one of the girls caught your eye? Kind of creepy if you ask me. It was not that. down there. Must have hit a nerve. You gonna attack me too? So what was it then, if it wasn't that? It just had a bumper sticker. It caught my eye. It had a symbol on it and some text I read a long time ago. Okay. So they had a bumper sticker. What did it say? It said, shadows lie, crescent plies, the moon looks down upon us. Uh, what? Some mumbo jumbo hippie bumper sticker? So what's it mean? Interesting.
Oh, this bumper sticker. This moment, eh? That line on the bumper sticker. I just recognized it. It's a saying, an old saying. Care to elaborate? You can't remember your own friggin' name, but you can remember this. Some things stick with you. I can't claim to know how memory works. No, you can't. Tell us more about this thing. Yeah, dying to know. You know, I don't remember much apart from that. It's part of a poem or a sonnet or something. What the frick is a sonnet? Sonnet? So you see this thing, this thing on the bumper sticker of the car, then what? If they were really into it, and I, and I think they were, because that line is too obscure for them to be fakers, then I feel like I should tell people to warn them. That thing is dangerous. Warn them? Dangerous? What do you mean? I found their car parked at their house after work. You followed them? They were easy to track down since the town's not too big. I mean, what they were getting mixed up in was above their heads. They looked like normal college kids, not even people into the occult or anything like that. Probably read some spell online and wanted to try it out. Like a lot of people who come into this town. Only I knew from the saying that they had read the real stuff. And I was scared. For everyone. What's scary about some kids making potions and playing witches? It's real. Four dead kids prove it. So what were they doing? Sounds like they were messing around with something that caught on fire and exploded. Possibly, yeah. Oh, how do Caleb know that was dangerous? I'm going to read something and you tell me what you think or you know about it. All right. <clears throat> Shadows lie, crescent plies, the moon looks down upon us. You ever hear that before? Never heard that before. How about read it? I'm vaguely familiar with it. How vaguely familiar? It's from one of my books. A book you have in your store. I feel like you're hesitating here. Oh, well, I, I just don't recall which one. I mean, I'd be more than happy to look. The moon reference might take some time. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need you to do that. Looking for a book. Let's try military. What do you think about the rumor that there are experiments going on at the fort? We've always worked side by side with the military. Although we don't cross paths too often and they usually reach out to us first. I'm not really able to comment much on them. Experiments going on that have something to do with some sort of supernatural thing at the rock? Come on. You've been seeing too many science fiction movies, Rick. <laughs> what about the websites that explain the history about it being a gateway to another world? That site is the equivalent of a cheap highway attraction. You really think people are stepping through an invisible wall to another world up there? How many people go missing in town every year? Like, none. We do have deaths. People get killed in every city in the U.S. Fact of life. It is possible that something's going on at that base. Kind of fun to think about it though, isn't it? No. But, okay, let's go with it for a second. The military is traveling to other planets and experimenting on aliens here in town. When was the last time you saw a flying saucer? You must have forgotten the last time there was a battle involving humans and little green men. Well, what if it's something different? Yeah. What if, Rick? What if indeed? Website? Experiments at the rock or the cistern below. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so up to date on military happenings. You would probably know more in your position. Of course, you hear things. What sort of things? Well, you know our town's history. The problems with the settlers and natives, how people hear strange things at the point at night, sea lights or what have you. 
And then, of course, the idea that the area contains some gateway to another place or time. I mean, I suppose it's up to each of us to decide what the real truth is, but facts are facts. And the fact is that the rock is located directly next to that old fort. We all know what they get up to. Old fort again. Let's try cistern. You ever been underneath the fort? Fort Cordon? Underneath? Yeah. The cistern. Cistern? It's a big open and closed area, usually underground, where they held a lot of water. Back before they had plumbing systems, they could store water that way. At the fort, they made one to hold water in case of fires. I wonder how often it got used. So you ever been there? Kind of sounds familiar. Going to a lot of underground storage tanks? Okay. So I've been there. A bunch of guys I was with broke in one time. I, I didn't know they had broken in until after. Nice. So how did that go? Alright. We just checked it out. It was dark as hell so we couldn't see much. The sound in there was weird. It was huge and we got kind of lost from each other without any lights. I kind of just stumbled around for a while until I found my way out. Anything else happen? No. I mean, not really. Not really? No. Come on, Caleb, you're being cryptic again. Your amnesia's returning. No, it's hard to explain. When you're in a big empty space like that, that's pitch black, your mind starts playing tricks on you. You start hearing things, seeing things. Maybe it was just the people I was with. What did you see? <sighs> Nothing. Just heard strange sounds. And maybe some lights. But it could have been the space. It's got a ton of echo and maybe the light reflects weird somehow. Part of the fun of going in, I guess. How long were you separated from the others? I found the door again in like 30 minutes. Everyone was waiting for me. You were stumbling around lost for 30 minutes down there? Yeah. I guess it was longer than I thought. What did they say when you got out? They hardly noticed. Some people laughed, I think. Then we all left. How far Caleb knows about a couple of things. The sister underground seemed to be an obvious facade when it was built. I mean, come on. It was meant to be filled with water in the case of a fire at the fort to then put out the fire. But it's far too large a space for that. There are tunnels people have found and gone down in all directions, which they claim don't exist. There's a lot of unexplored areas as well. They've carved up the entire point and I doubt they've actually found anything. At least, the rock next door is still in place. Can't imagine what would happen if it fell over. They dug all those tunnels and built that strange bunker on top. They cut their nose off to spite their face, always going against the grain. The area is really a spiritual and positive place. And they've gone and done that. I don't understand it. I've been down there once. They opened it for a public tour a few years ago, um, which have, of course, stopped now. Musicians have also come to record there because of the acoustic properties. They seemed fascinated by how it sounds, the large space. I think it's all guys, though, to hide what they're really doing down there. Investigating the side, or who knows, what sort of experimentations are going on down there into the area? Can we talk for a minute, please? Excuse us. Well, we've got some news. I'm here. 
Wide awake. <laughs> Tell me. We got her. The survivor, she's pulled through. She's being brought down now. <gasps> oh, good. Yeah! Unlock another suspect. This is going smooth. The cistern. What a strange place. Okay, that's it folks. Inshallah, we'll continue on the next episode. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. -bye.